Yo right there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Ultima RCG. And we've got them, the three weekly objective foot birthday unlocks, Zlatan, Naldo, Javinio all done and on top of that we've got even more SBCs repeatable 82 to 87 that got released and I have 10 ready today I want to test my luck you know because what's rumored to be coming out on Friday middle icon repeatable so we could get like a 90 hullet you know an 88 Patrick Vieira and I want to get the club ready to be able to do that as well as like getting coins and really players together for that Dino SBC. Now one player that I did have a look over that looks underrated and it's Giovini. I'll go and show you his stats in a minute. Although he only has three star, three star, his finishing is good, his height is decent, his work rates are amazing, ready to be direct and get him in behind. His stamina is incredible, 99. Jumping, dribbling, finishing, he looks so well balanced. And do you know what's gonna happen, right? I was thinking about sticking Emre Chan into an SBC, but I've realized he's very solid on the game and I don't wanna get rid of him. Taliska, exactly the same, like I was gonna use him towards Ronaldinho, but he's really proved himself uh, on the RTG. And now Jovinho, is he gonna play well? We shall see. But now is gonna be stuck in, likewise with Zlatan, but EA are bringing out content and I'm enjoying foot birthday. Uh, we had Perisic that got dropped yesterday, a little bit pricey, 350, but we're going over a few of those cards as we go and open some packs we have upgrades who have we been packing please do leave a like on today's video and do support the series and let's go so this is the one that i was talking about 82 to 87 it is now time to grind the bronze pack method again remember how we crafted the base icon sbc for little to no cost i think i had to spend maybe like 50 to 70 thousand towards the end we can do that again for the middle icon that could possibly drop on Friday. So from bronze to silver to gold upgrades and all it's requiring are 10 non-rare cards. So what I did yesterday is after I had completed the Naldo weekly objective challenge, I stuck all of those non-rares. It was just poor cards, really. I bought for like 600, 700, uh, some even cheaper than that. I put them into this SBC and what did I receive? Raheem the Dream Sterling from the first one, right? So that return already is just amazing. For me to go on the market and purchase a Raheem Sterling, it would have cost me minimum 27,000 coins. Like 87s are starting to go up. So that's awesome. I've got another 10 ready. I just went through the Super League and bought like loads of cards for 400 coins. So 10 of them. FIFA 13 to celebrate uh, for 13. We have this for a prime gold players pack. So we're getting more packs, more unlocked, and it is awesome. It didn't cost me too much. In fact, I was able to get um, a lot of these cards for super cheap. So let's redeem this. We've got prime gold players. We've got 10 upgrade packs. Are we gonna be bringing those cards onto the account? Let's find out. And today, boys, we do find out who's featuring in the team of the week. I'm praying for a 94 Eden Hazard. Well, not exactly, because if he does come out and I can't afford to upgrade the player of the month card, it's gonna really annoy me, because on this account and for the series, I wanna have the best possible version of one of my favorite cards on the game, Eden Hazard. But we shall see. First one, though, prime goal players, hit me up. When am I ever gonna get Oh, a foot birthday. Now, what is it? It's tradable. It's set up forward. It's for me, though. Let's go. That's a good pull, man. 86 rated. So that's actually back to back. Oh, no, sorry. I entered a draft yesterday on this account as I was streaming. And what did I pull? I lost in the final and I got like loads of player packs and an 84 as well. That's amazing. Yeah, I got um, just loads of players, like non rares and stuff. And they also went into the ones that were about to open. 20,000 coins. Wow. Okay. That's not. That's not amazing, you know. Do I keep hold of him for Ronaldinho SBC? I guess so. 20,000 coins. I have no reason. I'm Like, I don't need to rush and start selling players because I'm not desperate for coins. I, I don't even know who I want to purchase. Laurent Blanc, though, he's getting unlocked today. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Not to excite you. It is the loan version, but I was thinking, like, if I can afford, like, if Ronaldinho requires two icons and I have one spare, I might do Laurent Blanc because he's quite cheap. And then just picture that partnership. Raphael Moran, Laurent Blanc, that'd be too good. And he's, like, 5,000 coins as well. Not a bad pack. Anyway, let's move on to 
the untradeables. It would be ideal right now if I got my hands on a Pavard. For birthday Pavards, he cost me like 99,000 coins. So it's not cheap, but he did play very well this weekend. Herrera, minimum 82, so that's literally the lowest that I could get. But it's not terrible. Like, how much is he on the market? 3,000, like 2,000 coins. All right, well, I spent more to do that challenge. So let's move on to the next one and just keep going through. So 10 ready. Let's see what we get back. If we do get a few more walkouts and stuff, maybe two walkouts in 10, I think it's worthwhile for us to do, especially if we hit another 87 rated card because they're stupidly expensive, like 27,000. Well, I was going to start investing because as I knew of this leak uh, that the middle icons were going to come out on friday i was rushing on the market trying to purchase as many as i could i did pick up uh, some genesis for like three thousand coins i think i tried to sell him i'll go and check my trade part in a minute i bought him for three thousand and i think i listed him up for like uh three thousand uh, seven hundred uh, something like that but i'll be honest i don't know about you guys but i feel like we've missed the boat if you never bought those cards already um, we've just missed the opportunity of maximizing our profits. If I could receive some informs though, damn, that's not bad, 84? I think he's 84. Yes, he is one of the cheapest 84s though on the market, uh, Ziyech, but it's still an 84 that I haven't really had to go and purchase. Well, I purchased the non-rare cards though. All right, 4,000 coins. With all of this stuff is going to help. Six left, only six. Nah, come on. Give me another walkout, please. Just one walkout out of 10, and I'll be happy. No, 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 we need to get Borzier. This is unacceptable. Biglia, I think I bought him for uh, the squad that we just received uh, Firmino from. So that's that's okay. Uh, we got him back on the account. Five left. Walkout, please. Nah, come on. Boards, though. Please. Damn, maybe they've lowered the pack like a little bit. Which ones do you believe are better to do? The ones that you have to put in like 10 rares? I think it's 10 rares and then it's like 80 or higher. Or do you think these ones are better? You know, although it is like an 87 cap, you could pull some 86s and stuff. It's going to be difficult though. With my pack luck like right now, I think I used it all up hitting Firmino but that's 20,000 coins so really like that some of the money that I spend doing these I've just got back anyway so I'd rather risk it all if I could get some 86s and stuff but Bartra that doesn't really take my fancy three left only three nah come on maybe on the last two no I tell you this though oh is a board go on ah oh, it's cocky nah 84 yes okay that's another one but usually when I open like 10 or 5 packs in a row and I haven't had anything, the last two are never good. Never get anything. But we'll see. We put it to the test. No, it's not looking likely. Another board though. I think it is as well. Yes, back to back. Another 84. Brazilian. Cam. No, 83. Damn, Giuliano. I was looking at some of the flashbacks though. And I have been happy with the list. But I'm really, I'm praying on two cards and i tweeted out a little bit earlier before i sat down and recorded this video today lissandra lopez and lavetsi those two both have four star four star on the game and they are so well balanced already that a really nice flashback boost would make them meta i'd go as far to say it would make them meta and i'd really like to um just play with them on the rtg so those are two players that i could potentially unlock if they release them but i was just massive fans of remember the man of the match levetsi when he was playing at uh psg was that PSG? levetsi psg i think it was or am i thinking of nene i'm confused now no i swear levetsi played for psg oh my god now i don't know my memory come on i can't think levetsi psg i think he did i'm gonna have to research it after i've opened this pack pretty sure he was playing at psg anyway i'd like him for him to be released and lusandra lopez but we've got laurent blanc to go and unlock let's get him yes levetsi did play for psg i knew it anyway i don't even know why i questioned myself we have uh, Timo Werner that I never unlocked. Um, S Vine, I was saying in yesterday's video, if you're interested in that S Vine card, you may as well just go for Werner because he's tradable in the market and he's got a four star weak foot. But what else was dropped? This man, where is he? Ivan Perisic. Now, this guy looks 
incredible. For a striker position, a six foot one, he's got five star weak foot, four star skills, a bit of strength as well. The jumping with him being six foot one is going to be dangerous. Uh, dribbling stats are are good enough i'd say maybe he still feels a little clunky on the ball the shooting the pace the playmaking now who has unlocked him for i think it's three hundred and fifty thousand, and maybe a little bit more you know it's, it's not cheap and when you think about perisic um s vine timo werner like it all adds up and that's like a million coins right there when you can really be putting those towards a really good prime icon moments SBC when they come out so be careful looking at all of these cards but Perisic if you were asking me for my opinion he looks much improved and I think he could do the business in a striker position as a middle cam as a wide cam even depending on what you want from your players when it comes to dribbling but his heading and stuff attacking the ball back post that's what I used to struggle against at the start of the game before heading like took control but the icon SPC that I want to do is obviously uh Laurent Blanc's loan and this card oh my goodness me alongside Raphael Varane and all of these by the way are untradeable we have untradeable cards there untradeable untradeable so I've just basically got Laurent Blanc for free so I'm going to bring him into the club I want to test him out if he plays better than the middle version because put it this way when I tried the middle one and I compared it to the prime there wasn't much in it so you were best as purchasing the 89 now as he's received a prime icon moments how is this guy going to play never use him in the draft as well so I'm looking forward to it the pace is fine I feel like yeah he's quick in game it well his 89 was the defending is amazing the physical stats are great he's so tall anyway six foot four so the jump in is not terrible and on the ball look at that composure the dribbling even the passing how well is he going to play for us today so our team is still looking pretty colorful uh, like you would have seen uh, ibrahimovic already unlocked and i try to bring him on for the liga un or syria challenge as a striker and he wasn't really offering too much for me personally i don't like him so he's going into the spc for sure now though i haven't used and i don't feel like i have any interest in trying him honestly i don't know about you guys but the stamina is quite weak for a midfielder anyway especially a cdm his jumping is trash his dribbling and agility balance is not looking great and his acceleration is woeful like why would you really want to use him so he's going into ronaldinho for sure but giovinho my god all right three star three star 510 is not a bad height high to low work rates and his in-game stats like i mentioned the pace is there the finishing is good the passing the like the playmaking the dribbling the jumping stamina and a little bit of strength i think he's gonna turn up so i'm gonna bring him on for william as soon as the game starts so i will have oh no what i could do is take neymar off um could take neymar off and test out william a little bit more because i don't even think you've seen gameplay with william so what i will do in fact is put Javinho as a left attacking mid hazard in the middle uh, take off Neymar straight away and use William as the right attacking mid and then we can test out a little bit of Laurent Blanc I'm gonna keep a uh, basic chem style on him just to uh, start things off right boys div rivals because we haven't focused on that yet this week I've been well concentrating on the weekly objectives and getting those and this Friday we're gonna have another three any ideas or who would you like to see that's something that you can write in the comment section any ideas let me know. So it's Laurent Blanc versus Prime Moments Desailly. Battle of the Frenchman. What we need to do is start passing around a little bit more. I was playing like this in the last two games of the weekend league and it worked really, really well. The tactics definitely suit, well, the patch basically suits you slowing down the play for sure. We need to create a chance from it as well. Come on, let's keep it nice and simple. Ah, Hazard, oh. Oh, now he's starting to panic a little bit. Water ball. It's game. It was game? It was game over already? What am I talking about? Game over. 10 minutes in, 1 0. Must be having a laugh. I was having such a good time yesterday, though, on the game. It's because I was bringing on Timonio Mbappe against a bunch of non rares in online singles. Because that's. It allowed me to do that, you know? That's what the objective was. Uh, it 
told me that I could bring on some impact subs. Just so happens to be, I've got an Mbappe team of the year on the bench. And my god, was it funny. Seeing the goals that he was scoring against those non-rares. Oh, it was sick. Yo, Juvenio though. He doesn't he doesn't feel so bad. Yo, over the top. Ah. Oh. Laurent Blanc. Yes, Blanc. Nice and secure as you like it. Yeah, maybe we will do his SBC. But then maybe we won't. Ooh, that's dangerous though. Ah, oh, that's a foul. Right. Have we got any good free kick takers? Willian with his 99 free kick accuracy. He's done it. 99 free kicks. I like him for what he is. He's someone that we're going to be falling back to. Uh, we can use him as an impact sub. He's not top tier, but when he can do stuff like that, perfect free kick. Oh, nah, 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 come on. This team of the year, Brad. Laurent Blanc. No way. Oh, my. Ariola once again saving the day. I wasn't really too happy with that, though. Full time. And it's another one of those games where I've gone one or two goals up in the first half. And in the second, nothing is happening for my opponent or myself. But William got on the score sheet. So I was thinking for this weekend to get my hands on the foot birthday Marcelo. Now, when you compare his dribbling stats to the team of the year, it suggests that the team of the year is better on the ball. What I don't understand is that this one feels better in the midfield. I don't know if it's because EA have actually set his position to a right mid so you're not exactly playing him out of his preferred position does that make sense whereas you're taking like a left back and you're bringing him into the midfield so probably there's some hidden stats that it's affecting right whereas this one just feels so complete and then when you actually take a look at what he's offering his finishing is very good his pace is beautiful his playmaking is amazing the way he feels like i said on the ball is outstanding and it does seem a little weird you're playing Marcelo as like a right attacking mid or something, but he's capable of that with good stamina, uh, decent physical, and a really good interceptions. Like that card is so well-rounded and I want to play him as a right attacking mid instead of using Neymar. But for that, I need to create a little bit more chemistry. I don't know how the hell I would start uh, the formation or uh, set out the side. So if you guys have got any tips and want to uh, help me along the way, then please do. But he isn't even that much, you know, uh, 523,000. After the rewards, I could see him drop in maybe um, a little bit below that. In fact, I can just sell uh, Neymar I bought for 385,000 coins and he is now under 300,000, all right, 280. So there you go. I could sell a name arm. I can use a few div rival rewards towards it, uh, foot champs. So I think that that is a possibility. In fact, it's gonna be a purchase for this weekend. Marcelo is gonna be brought as a right attacking mid, as my middle cam. I don't know if I'm gonna be using William as an impact sub or I'll just Okay, I purchased somebody else. I'm not really sure right now. Uh, but then I need to figure out who I want to play as a left back and also as a CDM. Because I think it's about time we start upgrading Emre Chan, right? Because uh, he is good, but it would just be nice if I could upgrade Alexandro. And he's really what's holding the team back. He just feels so clunky, man. It's just really, really annoying. Like, we could have it like that, to be fair. But then I don't have an actual CDM. So for now, Emre Chan returns. We're going to the second game and test out Juvenio a little bit more. And for this one, we're up against that flashback theme. I think he's gone a little bit too crazy with that. How was it? 100 Kim. That's a goal. Good save, Ariel. He makes it look easy. He actually flies around the goal. William, great dribbling. Right, here we go. Get down the line. That's it. Now we should be able to cut inside a little bit more. That's fine. Neymar! Before he gets subbed out, that was a good little counter-attack, though. Down the left-hand side, nice work. Shift it across. Easy. We just got to keep him thinking, you know. If I go narrow all the time with my attack, then he knows what I'm, what I'm wanting to do. Got to start spreading the play a little bit more. Plant that seed of doubt. Oh, Jovino, that was a bit of a heavy touch. Christ's sake. Is he, is he a liability? I'm trying to bring him in, give him a chance, and he's taking some poor touches. But that's probably pretty much it. Yes, William. Well played. Ah, That's it. Nice first time pass. Giovinio. Giovinio, he's done it. What a finish. Okay. Now, if, just picture that. Bringing him off the bench as a proper impact sub late on scoring goals with that quality. Yes, please. 
Is he gonna be stuck into an SBC or are we actually gonna use him? Uh, probably an SBC. So straight away, as soon as I switched to Vinio from left attacking mid to middle cam, so I had someone out on the wing with four star skills, it worked really, really well. And it actually brought Vinio into the play a little bit more. And he's not bad for an 87 rated card that was free. Um, two games, one goal, you know, I think he's going to be a good impact sub. I'll use him for this weekend and I'll test him out in that scenario. If he does turn up and change games, then I might keep him. If not, then, yeah, I have no worries sticking him in into an SBC. Laurent Blanc, though, you know what? I'm not taken back by the card. I thought he was going to feel a lot better in game. Not to say he's bad. He's pretty solid. But I just don't see, really, the major improvement from that 89 rated card. So that's actually put me off doing the SBC. I would not feel comfortable locking in all of those. Like, is it a mil to do? Maybe a little bit cheaper than that. But the 89 on the market is just as good. And if not, if he feels better in game, it's a bit of a weird one, weird situation. And you've got to be careful with some of these prime Michael moments or just regular primes. Some just don't feel that great. But tomorrow, boys, we're going to be back with um, our new purchase as well as we'll have foot champ rewards div rivals i'm going to be playing a few more games i'll show you where we're at actually in uh div rivals uh rank two i think we'd play to yeah rank two i don't think i'm gonna have time later today to grind out for rank one unfortunately it was 19,900. what am i on 12 000, 3 000, 13 000. um no, I think I'm just going to settle for rank two. So 60,000, do I take the ultimate pack as we have foot birthday in packs or should I uh, play it safe and take the 60,000 coins? Let me know in the comment section. But thank you very much for watching, boys. Hopefully you get some awesome red picks tomorrow. And fingers crossed the team of the week is actually good. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.